this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV! What did you do to your eyes? Oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. That's... Cruel world. If you want to learn more about how Ignis got blinded, well, you'll have to play episode Ignis eventually, which I will be doing after the post-game. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Not yeah. anymore. There was. <sighs> we lost track of him. Is he dead? I... I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. Well, yeah, that is the general idea. So where are we going, anyway? I mean, I know we're in Tenebrae. So it's not you, we think. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. Good, I guess. Okay. There's a bunch of treasure around what here we can find. Out of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. I'll get it in later. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Oh. Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? We hadn't figured that I out do. yet. In fact, I know two. Oh, hey, hey, all right. Your new engineers, Biggs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a licking. Only if we have to. <laughs> What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, hey. Really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. So do we talk to you some more? Or... Oh, there we go. Can I talk to anyone else? No, I guess not. So what's yeah, going on? Thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative though. What do you mean? You know? Right, especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes oh. sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. Oh, really? It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Hmm. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. Okay. Don't just ignore what they were saying about like bundling up. You don't need to. So, you've cut your ties with the Empire. Yeah. Then the what are you doing here? People was by leaving the army. Lady A the bad had it with them as it were. Oh. Lady A. Aranea, the Commodore. Oh. Nothing but demons in the capital. What? Meanwhile, the crystal's just sitting there. No one in the army signed up for this. What huh. about the civilians? Hold up in their homes. They're either lying quiet behind closed doors or lying dead. Your guess is as good as mine. Man, they're everywhere now, huh? We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shove off. Shall we? Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Do we just follow you guys, or...? Well, we gotta talk to someone else to advance the plot. Oh, I guess they don't have anything else to say. The Chancellor is running some circus. What's he doing? The High Commander got the axe. Literally. And the Emperor is no more than a husk at this point. Oh. Everyone in charge is gone now. It's total chaos. All hell broke loose in the Demon Labs. Elaborate. Unprogrammed MTs left to run amok. Same for the demons we caught. Huh. And now they're everywhere. They emanate from the Empire? Yeah. The capital's crawling with them. So... Does that mean we won? I mean, the Empire's... I guess... Dead? As if that wasn't bad enough. The bastards are stronger than ever now. It's gotten too far out of hand for the army to deal with. And there's not enough daylight anymore to keep the demons in one place. Hmm. And so that's how they got here. Then there's the crystal they stole, for the good of the people, which never sees the light of day. Where is it? A lot of good it's doing anyone now, locked away in the Imperial Fortress. Oh. Hmm. 
If you intend to linger here a while, might I suggest you take a moment to speak with the people of the manor? Oh yeah! I'm sure they'd relish the chance to share their tales of Lady Luna Freya. Better hear them while you can. We won't be coming back soon. Hmm. We won't be coming back here ever! Just like chapter 10 and 12, this one you can never return to. But, uh, okay, I guess that's enough talking there. So, all this time, we've been collecting all of these royal arms to defeat the Empire, and then they just go and implode on us. Okay. Making that a complete waste of time. Although now we've got a whole bunch of demons to deal with and all that. Let's see, how are we doing on fire magic? I thought I was a little low on that. Yeah, why don't we make a little more of that while we're at it? I like how they still give us these elemental deposits around everywhere. So that we can keep on making new magic even though we're not like at a haven or something huh that was weird I didn't I barely got anything out of that I wonder if that has to do with what's going on in the plot yeah I don't think I've ever gotten that little hmm well in any case yeah we got a little treasure over there hey how's it going my word, is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we? Ah, oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. Yeah, tell that to Gladio. I'm Maria, a retainer in service to House Florey. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. Oh. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. What light? Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Oh, yeah. yes, so she did. Stars above. My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Isn't he Ravis too? dead? I thought, well, what's going on? Is she okay? She seemed good when. I beg of you. Yeah. Please see the ring to Noctis on my behalf. Why would he? Already, my flesh has begun to fail me. What do you mean? No, I cannot accept it. By your hand, it must be done. Why? To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. She did a whole lot more than inspire us. I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Luna Freya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. Well, yeah, she did. So... I guess everything, well, everything else worked out, not for her. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. What's left yeah. of it? Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Oh, really? Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. Well, yeah, when he's dead. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. I know we heard he had the sword earlier. But uh, I didn't know that he hoped to get it to us, or at least not until now. But, uh, alright, so that's everything we got there. Now let's actually 
start exploring the area a little bit. We've got quite a bit of treasure that we can get around here. Can I save it all? Good. I had to use an auto save to uh, get this episode running. Okay, so yeah, why don't we just save over that one? That ought to be good enough in the event that something unexpected happens. But uh, okay, so let's see, around here in this little section, there's a couple treasures we can get. Oh, where'd everyone else go? About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. Huh. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they saw oh. it. Oh, hmm. That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. Hmm. So, why would they have a demon break out where they had the... the crystal? Certainly explains why the kings have always guarded the crystal. And how they kept the demons at bay. Hmm. Long story short, we're stuck in this rut until you go and take back what's yours. So, what do we do with it? You're not going to tell us, are you? No one told me how to use a crystal to deal with demons. They didn't really tell me much of anything, really. But, uh, okay, so, wait a minute, was that? I thought I saw something here. Oh, that's just the light. I thought there was, like, a little treasure around the place. Whoops. Um, yeah, not this way. Okay, now I know there's... I know there's one to the south. Or, well, in that direction. But, uh, I thought there was another one. Oh, yeah, by the Magitek armor now, I remember. Okay, so go behind here. Ha-ha! Save those for later. Those are useful for, like, quint cast and stuff. Let's see, behind here, there's another one. If I can get over to it, that is. And let's see, what else do we got? I thought there was a... Like a weapon merchant or something. Or maybe they're on the craft? Ah, there we go. Not that there's anything that I really would care to buy. But I suppose it's available there, but... Nothing extraordinary. Same stuff we had at Alticia. Okay, so... Let's see, we got the two treasures here. Let's get back to the base, or, well, back to the train. Let's see, there's uh, quite a few, actually, of uh, almanacs and stuff that we can pick up around here. And by the way, if you want to find out what happened uh, pronto... Uh, you'll have to play episode prompto later. Prince Noctis. Yeah? Prince Noctis, were, were you excited to marry Lady Luna Freya? We didn't. Because she was really excited to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She oh. really loved you, Prince Noctis. Aww. <sighs> Thank you. Whoop. At first... The father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the oracle who assuaged their fears. Who did? But the girl. She holds the true power. I have oh. little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the oracle. Nevertheless... And... I'm afraid you might find this foolish. The dress? But to be together with Noctis again. Even if only for a short while. What do you mean? Would mean the world to me. Seems like she I do not seek hmm. to guide him. Merely to stand beside him. Sounded like she already knew what was going to happen. But then again, I suppose she is an oracle. Lady Lunafreya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, oh. is it? No, not at all. Of course not. 
Not that it really matters anymore. Okay, so let's see what we got around here. There we go. Oh, yeah, and someone was saying, Itchy Bailey, you can actually get that, uh, the recipe that we got earlier with the, the Haven in Chapter 10 there. Yeah, that one. Uh, you can actually get it a little later, but it's also a permanently missable point. So you can't, if you don't get it there, either you won't be able to get it at all. But, so th there's another way you could get that one. Let's see, yeah, we've got 114 recipes. Almost got all of them. We're working on it. Doing pretty good on the AP while we're at it as well. Okay, so we got... Oh. Okay. But yeah, we got one treasure down there. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, a little more background on our mythology, I guess. Or lore. Okay, and then oh, looks like the night will never end. Evidently. Okay, let's see. Yeah, back here. Got that one. I'm not gonna board the train just yet. There's some other stuff we can find around here. What preparations? I, I understand. Neither does anyone else. Is this the guy we talked to? Lady Luna Freya once tended a garden filled with scylla blossoms, watering the flowers herself. Hmm. Sadly, the whole field went up in flames. That's... Uh, it's heartbreaking to see what's become of it. Our house is gone. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't know if she would have made it out. I swear I saw a giant serpent back there. You too, huh? <sighs> Good to know I'm not going crazy. This has been one wild ride. We should hop off before it gets any wilder. I don't want to keep going. Yeah. Go I'll go and have a word with the conductor. You don't think the soldiers here will hurt us, do you? I don't know. I not. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know we had a lot of these conversations here. How in the world could something like this happen? Perhaps this is the way it ends. Probably. That Aranea girl is hmm? Imperial, isn't she? Yes, but she's not with the army. Not anymore, at least. Hmm. I listened to Lady Luna Freya's address on the radio. Oh, yeah. I think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. I can only imagine how she must have felt. Ah. Are we leaving them? Is the mother badly damaged? It's seen better days. So have the civilians. They've been through a lot. And the Chancellor's the one who put them through it. Put us hmm. through a hell of a lot, too. He never gets in our way. But he sure loves messing with us. Well, there's a good chance he got his hands on Prompto. Just hope he doesn't mess with him too bad. What's the worst that could possibly happen? So you're Lady Luna Freya's fiance, right? Wanna know something? Something like that. Everyone knows she liked pretty flowers, but you wanna know what else she liked? Cool stickers. Huh. It has to be true. What kind of stickers? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Okay. Let's see. Ah, there it is. I guess we should give up on the capital. Yeah, ought to find somewhere safer to hawk our wares. Sounds like the lab in Grawley is a real mess. What? Surprise me if it really is haunted. Wonder where Emperor Idolos went off to. Somewhere hmm. six feet under, like the high commander. Yeah, I wonder what happened to him. Well, we'll learn more about that later. It's rather strange. Lady Gentiana has not graced us with her presence as of late. Oh. Perhaps she has no reason to stay, now that the blood of the Oracle is no more. That's... Like her, others will eventually leave, and the land of Tenebrae will be lost to memory. Well, maybe we can find her or something. 
I'd think she would know something going on. But yeah, another almanac we can pick up here. Get a little background before the game took place. Let's see. Uh, oh, there it is. I think that's the manor. Like, burning up over there. Something's going on. Aww. Oh. Dude. Oh. Okay, I guess they don't have anything interesting to say. Let's go on back here, though. Take heart. Everything will be alright. I don't see what good it does me to come here. Hmm. I've got to thank her for all that she's done. And show your thanks by praying for her safety. I'm gonna ask an Imperial about it again later. And I'll go with you when you do. Oh. Yeah, couldn't hurt, I suppose. But, uh, okay, if we go all the way back here. Ha ha! Let's see, we can't board this train from this side. But I think we can get in there on the other side. But we can't, like, go between the cars. The Empire has declared Lord Ravis a traitor and sentenced him to death. Oh, really? I believe the attack on the manor was further punishment. Huh. What that's all about. Let's see. Let's go around the back and... Yeah, why don't we go up here first and then we'll circle around. I mean, what was that? Oh, I saw a little marker there. I was like, wait a minute. Something's close by. Well, what's happened lately? Game? So according to your research, Ms. Yeager, this phenomenon of the nights growing longer is by no means a recent development. Not at all. The change is just too subtle for anyone to notice till recently. Huh. It took three extra hours of darkness for people to panic, and now it's completely irregular. The other day, we got half an hour more night. Days, days are numbered, I tell you. Huh. Well, I know they were talking about that, like, during the tutorial in the, before I started the game itself. You're saying the hunters are on high alert? That's right. What with all them scholarly folks talking about the nights growing longer. They've been looking hmm. into this for a while. They ain't once recorded a day with more sunlight than the last. Ain't no telling when night will fall and the demons will come out. So we recommend y'all take extra care. I shudder to think that if the nights keep growing longer, there may soon come a day that won't be day at all. Well, yeah, probably now. Let's see, uh, I thought there was something else. Oh, no, that was just the radio. Okay. Oh, what do you got? Welcome. You got any food? Grab some food here? before you go? Yeah, exactly. Oh, thanks. Th that helps. Well, at least there is a, a sleeper car or something around here that we could use. Not that I want to eat food there. We'll Okay, so let's see if we continue along to the back. See, I don't think there's anything else we can interact with around here, but I'll just take a quick pass by them. Okay, and then, yeah, now let's just keep on going all the way to the back. But, uh, yeah, we can uh, rest up there, I suppose, if you wanted to. Tally up the experience. And what do we got? Yeah, another... Almanac here as well. But yeah, I remember uh, Ignis was saying something about the Empire already defeating three of the six. Looks like they got a fourth one already, too, with uh, the Glacian Shiva. Hmm. Well, evidently. Okay, so there's one more treasure that I want to get. Maybe I should have gotten it before coming around here, but... Let's see, it's outside of the train, though. See, we go all the way back here. Yeah, we can get a little more treasure there. How's our experience looking 
Okay, I was just thinking if I wanted to go back to uh, Altitia to tally up experience, but yeah, it's pretty much negligible at this point. Not to mention, I was thinking about maybe going to a Haven to get a food buff going, but we're going to be heading to the end of the chapter anyway. So yeah, once you get to like chapter 10, the chapters go by really fast. So, yeah, I don't think I'm even going to bother resting up or, or anything like that. But if you wanted to leave and go back with Umbra, you can right over there. But, uh, okay, so we got all that. Let's uh, take a look at our setup here. Okay, so I want to get some ice magic going, even though it's cold out. But there's some enemies that are weak to it. Let's see, let's get a Durandal going. And, uh, yeah, we got the Radiant Lands. We're not going to run out of demons to fight anytime soon. Let's see, with the with Gladio, yeah, I don't think I really need uh, to use a technique on him. Although I don't really have anything better to do since, well, Ignis can't really do a whole lot. But he could use the Libra Elementia. And, yeah, it only uses one tech bar. So maybe I could take a look at using that a bit more but otherwise yeah stay on your light elemental equipment and moogle charms let's see as far as ap goes yeah i've gotten pretty much everything that i care about but yeah let's make a backup just in case here and then board the train to gralia itself ready to depart just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Hey! Give us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining cars open, if you need a break. How do you swap out train cars like that? I mean, we did it in Final Fantasy VIII, but that was like a very specific situation. Shall we shove off, then? But, uh, yeah, let's get going. Climb aboard. Oh, are we... Oh, no, no, no. I was wondering if we were tallying up experience. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Hey! Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. Oh, so we will. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. Well, goodbye! It's snowing. Get and your ass on board. Ha <laughs> yes, sir. And we'll never see her again. Oh, okay, I guess we gotta pass through here in order to get to Gralia or whatever's going on. Kind of strange having to rely on autosaves so much for recording now. So it makes it difficult for me to be able to practice stuff, but not that the main storyline progression is remotely difficult with doing everything possible up to this point. But even without it, it's pretty, pretty easy. But uh, I guess maybe the ice is slowing down the loading times too. Why not? It slows down the enemies. We got ice, well, we're gonna get more ice with my magic. There we go. We might experience some turbulence. Look at all that snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. Hmm. We must be approaching the glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hmm. pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Yeah, pretty much. Why do we need all of these train cars anyway? Couldn't we just take the one? But, uh, let's see. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that yet. I want to take a look around for some treasure. Let's see, I know there's one... Ah, there it is. Behind us there. Okay, so we got the... Or, wait a minute. 
Yeah, we have a limited amount of time to do all this stuff. But, uh... Hmm, maybe I should have gone in the opposite direction. Well, we can do it this way anyway. But, uh... Oh, yeah, now we can run along pretty fast. And, yeah, it looks like my stamina is depleting much less than it was before. Now we got a little storage area. Get a, quite a few items around here. And let's see, all the way up there. Uh, yeah, there's uh, Regalia. Okay, so we got all that. See, I thought there was... No, that's all the treasure. Yeah, yeah, six. Okay. There were six treasures in... Or, well, eight treasures in this direction. And there's one more in the other direction. Hopefully, I'll be able to make it there in time. I better. At least the doors automatically open enough... Or open up quickly enough for me to run all the way through. But let's go in the other direction. See, I know there was, like, an item on some sort of, like, a shelf or something. I guess maybe we gotta keep going a little longer. Ah, there it is. Get it. Okay. We got all the items. See, anything? I don't think there's anything else, but I don't know. Maybe something else around here? Even so, I mean... Okay, so we brought the regalia with us on the train, but... We got all these extra cars that we don't need. But, uh, yeah, a lot of times they love hiding stuff around corners. What was that, uh, thing there? Ah, there it is. Yeah, I thought there was something around here. I don't think this is, like, part of an almanac or something, though. Oh, yeah, something like that. It's one way of looking at it. But, uh, okay, yeah, I don't think there's very many of those, like, newspapers or things around here. But if I see one, I'll take a look. But, yeah, they love hiding treasures in the corners here after you get in there. Hey, what's up? Dude? Okay, thanks for letting us know. What was that? I don't know. But, uh, okay, we can keep on moving here. I'm not sure what that phone call was about. I wonder how they're even running. I mean, not many people have cell phones. Uh, dude, what's going on? That was a pretty no quick stop. What it could be this time. Attention, yeah. What's up? Oh. You might have noticed we stopped as for the cost. Outside the bridge. We'll take a look. Oh. oh. I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. Of course it will be. But, uh, we can see what we got going on around here. Whoa, it's pretty cold here. It's freezing. You better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. Oh. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Hmm. I would think her corpse would have rotted by now. Let's clean up out of here. Warm up in there. Okay, what do we got there? Okay, a new enemy, Wraith. They are weak to swords and light. And they're also weak to ice. So we can deal pretty good damage to them like that. See, I thought there was... Oh. Ah, there we go. And, yeah, we got the Snagas. That's why we got the Radiant Lance there. See, we can one-shot those guys easily enough, but the Wraiths are a different story. Let's equip a little more Ice Magic. I said Ice Magic. There we go. Let's try that one again. Okay. But I have to wait for it to... 
cool down to really put it to more use. Just the thing. See if this will work for us. Hey, nice. What else do we got? Okay, we got a Wraith coming. Ignis, just the thing. Well, even though Ignis is blind, he can still fight somehow. Not exactly sure how that works. But, okay. I mean, he can't use his regular techniques. But, uh, okay, yeah, we got that there. Ah, uh, there we go. Just the thing. Haha! Wonder how much we get per use of that. Oh, it doesn't uh, level up. Okay, I was thinking it would, but well, I've got nothing better to do with my tech bars. Just don't kill anything. I like how we got new battle music here. Whoa! And there we are, boss time against Deathclaw. Okay, so with Deathclaw, let's see, this guy, uh, what is that? Well, let me take a look here. Okay, so this guy is weak to shields and machinery, which I'm not going to use, but they are weak to fire and light. So let's go with Fyra here, and I'll go with the Dorindal for my weapon damage. Haha! -ha. If I get a chance... It would be nice to uh, get some work in. Or, well, just to get some use. Whoa! Warp! Warp! Thank you! For some reason, I was just sitting there doing nothing. Haha! The -ha, there we go. Yeah, you gotta be really quick on those parries with this guy. Yeah, get another shot in there. Maybe another fire spell. If and when I get the chance. That would be nice. Can't seem to get behind the guy very easily. Haha! -ha! Gotcha! Is... I can't move. Uh, are we... Good? I couldn't move there, something. Hey, knocked. What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on, in. Right. What's going on? What the? No way. What's he doing here? No. Hold it. Oh, that son of a bitch. Not again. Whoa! Well, this is a new trick. Dude. What's going on here? We get it! You vape! What's he doing now? Can I... Move? I think I'm moving. Stop! Stop, damn it! Where is he? Where's Pronto? Oh, there you are. I'm worried about your friends. They've what? fallen and they can't get up. Oh. Without lend them a hand. Well, I'm trying. Can I jump? Nope. Where's this coming from, anyway? A coldness that can only be hers. Whose? What's going on? Someone else there? Oh, hey! Ah, the face you wore the day you <laughs> died. I don't know why, I just love that part. <laughs> what are you doing here? Thanks? Let it now be done, as promised to the Oracle. Hmm? What, let what be done? Tiana, it's you. You're the Glacian. 
What the? I thought she was dead. Of the past and hopes for the future are manifest in the King of Kings. The Frost Bearer's blessing shall be his. Hey! At least we don't have to fight for another one. But uh, yeah, we get a little dialogue options here. What about those tales? The six have safeguarded this star since time immemorial. Each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. What do they do? The gods' protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They didn't do a very good they job. Are creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Hmm. Yet the pyre burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. Hey! His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the frost bearer. Aww. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. Hmm. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them, the gods they once worshipped. Oh. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the pyre burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. Whoa. But the six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm. And, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the pyre burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. You could stop killing us! The smoke clears the world of man is in ruins. Their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. Oh, that's why they were all asleep. The of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. So, how are you supposed to protect us? To its conclusion. If you're asleep all the time... How does it even work? Well, at least she's not turning into a motorcycle this time around. Although that was kind of... Different, I guess. In the days that follow the war, while the six are still asleep... What about it? burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. Oh. His peril is sensed by the frost bear. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the foreign hordes. Whoa. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. Bats. The star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the chosen. Oh. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. As long as you don't make me freeze to death! The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. Oh. Well, what thoughts? She's kind of- she's kind of dead. When the boy begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. Oh, yeah! It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. Not anymore! The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination. Her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Aww. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. What do you mean? I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. Then what? But it's my choice. If only. If only I could hear his voice once more. You could call him on a cell. If we could laugh together as we did as children. <laughs> if we could live 
live out our days together as we once dreamed. Well, that didn't go as planned. Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? Well, Gladio says so. No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may, it is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade. And in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. Well, thanks for delivering the message. And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The God's favor and the lady's love shall be with him evermore. Thus it is promised between the oracle and her familiar. Hmm? What do you mean her fam her familiar what? The dogs? I am undeserving of your kindness. Thank you. I wonder if Luna Freya knew about Gentiana. I mean, knew that she was Shiva. And so the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. Hey! hey. Oh, what's that? Thanks. Thanks for a stick. Kings, restore the light unto this world. Well, I suppose that is a sharp stick in the eye. Not hard to be much better than that. Farewell, so, dear Noctis. This one's pretty decent. Oh, uh, what what happened? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now, I'll never have the chance. I'm so sorry. Could we warm up the place a bit? Huh? Um, well, well, what's going on? Dude? Oh. He's probably imagining her. What's that? Dude? I won't let you down. I know you won't. Well, you did. You and I will be together again someday. I promise. What do you mean? She's kind of dead. Kind of hard to get over something like that. So, ah, there we go. Yeah, so we got another royal arm, the trident. Nice thing about that one is that, uh, what is it? Where, where is, ah, there it is. Oh, yeah, and we had the katana from earlier. But, uh, yeah, the nice thing about this one is it makes, like, holograms of Noctis that can draw aggro from him. So if you're using, like, uh, what is it, overwhelm, that can be pretty useful with that. Unfortunately, we can't use Overwhelm right now, but if we went back in time, we could. But, uh, all right, so we've gotten, what, 12 of the 13 uh, Royal Arms there. One more to go, and Ravis has it. So, is he dead? What are you looking at? Well, that was easy. <sighs> Hey, 
You guys okay? Wake up. What happened? Uh, what happened? No. Uh, Are you all right? Yeah. I saw the glacier. You tell me. It's okay. She's gone now. Ah. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. So, who are we fighting now? Oh, do we just... Well, I mean, what do you mean, reboard the train? We're on the train! Oh, is there a... Oh, I already interacted with that, I guess. Seems like my movement is a little more fluid now for some reason. Hmm. Maybe they're just letting me move around so much faster. It's been so long since I've been able to run at full speed. What the? I feel I've earned the right to call you not. What do you mean? For a moment I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Hmm, evidently. Your attack hurt me, nevertheless. My feelings, at least. <laughs> and after all the memories we've shared, remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Where is he? Ah, you mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? Hmm? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat oh. of the Empire. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. Good! And you might even find your crystal. Why are you telling us With all this? these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go, then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> What's that? What did that do? Eh, I'm sure it won't be important. I wouldn't worry about it. Maybe that has something to do with that time stitch whatever thing that he does. Or whatever he did with on top of the train earlier with Prompto. And all that. I don't know what he's doing. I wouldn't worry about it, though. We can keep on going. But, uh, yeah, let's get going into Chapter 13. At least a little bit. We'll see what we can do here. I know we will have the opportunity to save eventually. Though it may take a little while for us to get to that. Well, we'll think of something. Is everything okay now? I guess we're moving. We should be drawing close to Gralia. Good, yeah. good. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but you knew that. Better have our light elemental weapons ready. Don't mind me. Which Once we, we arrive, do. We'll make for the keep. What keep? The keep. Zagnortus, an Imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. Not anymore! With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in must come out. That's the idea. So, are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? Yep! The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. We've observed that as the nights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. We can they take them! in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. Sounds good for everyone. Uh, that doesn't look good for everyone. The hell? What's going what on? It? My guess, something to sidetrack us. Oh, okay. Well, we could deal with it. At least it's not as violent as the last time. What now? Whoa! That's all right. Let's take him. 
What the? Maybe that's what Arden was doing there. But, uh... Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm not exactly sure how he did that with a simple push button, but... Okay. But, uh, okay, but, yeah, let's, uh, continue onward, then. Only a matter of time before we run out of room to run. Got a better idea? We could leave. Train for the regalia. Come on, or we could do that. That works, Free too. Keep moving. So, yeah, for now, all you can do is run. Whoa. Fortunately, these guys are not extraordinarily powerful. Hopefully, they haven't torn the car to shreds. There we go. And don't drive on the railroad tracks! Activating level four security measures. Sealing all gates. Whoa! Well, we better get there first. But uh yeah, we're gonna have to manually drive around here. Put the pedal to the metal. That's the idea. Don't crash. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> we're working on it. See what we now we can do. The tunnel. On the train tracks! Don't slow down, or they'll catch us up. Go oh. as fast as I can. Hang on. Whoa. Yeah, you got all these obstacles in the way, too. I'm kind of reminded of that one level of Battle Toads. You know the one, viewers. You know the one. Holy cow. So, are they going to blow us up or what? Ah, there we go. Trying to blow us off the tracks. Well, yeah. Hit and it's over. That's the idea. More than that to stop His Majesty's trusty steed. Hmm. Dodging one thing to run into another. The regalia can take the punishment. Not much. Focus on your driving. Working on it. You can get through this. Whoa. Okay, back up. Back up. Okay, keep going. Okay, we got it. We're good. Okay, I guess we can stay on this side for a while. It's closing for it. Come on, old girl. Did we make it? I think we did. Well, we're okay. That's all she's got. No airbag. Well, at least our windshields are bulletproof. But, uh... Well, I suppose we don't really need the regalia anymore. It's not like we got an open road or world to explore at this point. Dude. Hmm, memories. I'm guessing this is before the game started? When we... Oh, way before the game started. I think that's that was Regis there. <laughs> Dad. Thanks for everything. Kind of ruins the moment with those decals on the regalia. Are we seriously marching into the capital empty-handed? Nope! Let's run! Assurances the crystal can beat back the demon hordes. Guess we'll find out the hard way. No or turning back now. That. <sighs> okay, well, let's see what we got going on behind us. Yeah, they do this a lot where the game deposits you in a particular area and then makes you or you have to go back behind where they put you in order to get some treasure. In this case, the 40th fixed Oracle Ascension coin. So, if you didn't have the ribbon yet, now you can. Or at least until you know, we can go back to Altitia to turn them all in. could come down at any time. Let's be quick. Come on, this way. Whoa! Okay. Come on, guys! Clear. Whoa. Hey, Agnes, Gladio. 
Are you guys okay? And which do we follow first? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.